so we have to be quick about this because I have a flight to catch. And regardless of what it looks like in the studio, it's actually 3 a.m. in the morning. And again, I have a flight to catch in an hour. Now, if only I could book a cab. Now, shit, this driver again cancelled my trip. Now, this is the sixth time when my trip has been cancelled. I'm just curious as to what is happening. Why are all they cancelling my trip? So, is there anyone who can help me? I need to really figure this problem out so that I can catch my flight. My name is Sai Aluri and I re lead the business analytics team at Uber India. Um, so we do a lot of work with um, data exploratory analysis and work on operational problems um, for Uber India. Specific business problem that we're looking into today is around the airport case study that we started working on. Um, so this is a real life problem that we faced in one of our cities uh, in terms of understanding how is the marketplace held from demand and supply working at airports and to airports. So when we look at um, data at Uber, right, so it might start off with an anecdote in terms of identifying what this problem could be. It could either be from customer tickets or from ops real hand and understanding that airport reliability is not optimal. There's some issues with customers getting trips to the airport. Right? So that's the unstructured bit in terms of understanding what the problem is coming from. The structured data actually starts with then understanding, looking at our data set. Most of the data that we use from an analytical pr purpose is stored in, in our warehouse, data warehouse. And from there, we have various tables that we can get specific trip level information to driver level information. So this level of information gets us to understand exactly which trips are happening to and from the airport and specific characteristics of those trips as well. Um, so if you want to understand exactly how long does it take for you to get an airport trip, um, either from the city or from the airport. And once you get that, once you make that request, how likely are you to actually go ahead and complete this? Um, so that all that information we can query from our data warehouse. So we have all of this data available and that's a good start. But one question still remains. How can we use all of this data available to book me a cab? And as you can see, I'm still here and I don't have too much time left. But this seems to be a major problem. What am I doing wrong? How can we fix this problem organically? What can we infer from all of this data? Yeah, so some of the key metrics that we look at Uber India specifically um, is completed by request. So this is a metric that tells you the reliability of how well the marketplace is, right? So specifically to this airport problem, we look at different points of the day uh, from 4 a.m. to midnight, understanding at which hour do you get, uh, are you getting requests and what, pro what is the percentage that are, of them that are getting completed, right? So a higher completed by request ratio uh, means that there's better marketplace health in these areas compared to um, lower ones when th there's not enough supply to meet the demand. So once we started looking into this data, right, so what was very interesting was we saw that cancellations that were going to the airport um, were higher compared to the overall cancellation rate for regular trips, right? So once you started looking into the problem, you'll understand that um, airport trip in itself takes uh, a long time for the driver to get to the airport. And once that happens, so let's say it's like an hour and a half to get to the airport, um, there's an amount of time that the driver has to wait at the airport before he can get a trip back. Right? So since he's already spending this much effort, gas mileage and everything to going to the airport, uh, it doesn't make economical sense for him to come back empty. So then once he's there, he has to wait for another trip to come back. And based on the flight patterns that are coming into and out of the city, uh, there could be a huge variance in terms of when he'll be able to get his next trip based on the flights that are coming in. And then the other metric that we're going to look into is specifically for this case study is the driver idle time at the airports. So meaning that once the um, inflow goes into the airport from the supply, how long does a driver have to wait uh, until he gets a trip from the airport um, back to the city? Essentially, how much time is being unutilized by the driver where he could have been doing trips if he was not at the airport? For example, if he goes early in the morning at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m., on the next, the first flight that might actually land is around eight or nine in the city, right? So within those one or two hours, he has to be waiting at the airport um, when he could have been making money if he was outside of the airport, right? So one of the insights we saw that the cancellation from the drivers was higher because of this specific area. And the next insight that we saw was, like I was mentioning, based on the flight patterns, um, the amount of time that the driver has to wait, the idle time, um, changes throughout the day. Right? For example, based on the flights that are coming into the city, it's, for example, it's higher in the morning. 
And as more and more flights start coming in and the demand starts picking up, um, there's less idle time, so that the drivers have to wait less at the city, right? So, and then at the end of the night, there's another unique problem that comes in where there's not enough organic supply coming to the airport, so there's not enough supply to meet the demand that's coming in from later flights, uh, international flights, and so on. So what we started noticing was, since at night, there's not as many flights taking off from this specific airport, um, what was happening was there's not enough organic supply at the airport. But there was a lot of international flights that start coming in at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. or very late into the night. Um, and which is when the day usually ends for most of our daytime partner drivers. So what was happening was there's not enough drivers to meet this demand. So this is when the um, demand, you might start seeing essentially no cars available. So when you once we find out this information, right, especially with the idle time and the cancellation rate issue, um, we wanted to portray it in, in a way that it's easy for the city teams and everyone, the leadership to understand where the magnitude of this issue is. Right, so one of, one of the ways that we um, showed this information was the inflow of cars cars going to the airport with the outflow of cars leaving the airport um, by hour of day from 4 a.m. to 1 a.m. And you, based on the different um, traffic patterns, the flight patterns, you'll see that there's more cars going to the airport in the morning um, and there's more cars coming from the airport at night and there's an imbalance which leads to um, the idle time showing up at different parts of the day. Right? So the visualizations that we've shown in this is a simple line graph to show the inflow and outflow from the airports and also by hour showing how much time does, on average, does a driver have to wait um, at the airport based on the flight patterns? Right? So you essentially have a problem where you have too much inflow in the mornings and not enough inflow at night. So you had to figure out a way to um, start balancing this out and make sure that it reaches this marketplace equilibrium, which it can't organically. Well, well, Uber faces a lot of problems when it comes to booking, cancellations and non-availability of cars. So let's try to understand this problem in greater depth using descriptive statistics. And what would be a better case study to solve as an assignment? To actually figure out the problems that Uber is facing, you'll have to apply what you have learned in descriptive statistics as well as visualization. You will find all the details about the assignment below. So go ahead and get started. Meanwhile, I have a flight to catch. Bye-bye.